what I have seen um, from social media's use is that the migrants themselves are better informed or have the potential to be better informed. You can really see this in, um, in the path from the Middle East to Europe, where people who were walking uh, from Turkey uh, and then uh, taking boats across the Mediterranean to Greece and then trekking north into Europe um, were able to use their phones to find out the path to go, to find out about dangers on the way, to, to stay in touch with family behind them or you know, compatriots ahead of them. And so in some ways, that holds a lot of promise in terms of providing information to people who need it. Um, social media, uh, media in general, can give us a much better picture of the crises uh, that prompt people to flee if we pay attention. It's not clear that um, most Americans are interested in following uh, what's happening overseas and the kind of dilemmas that uh, people face overseas. And to a certain extent, I understand that. I, I mean, I think none of us wants to be exposed to bad news day after day after day. And we have too many conflicts going on right now. Um, but I think um, we, we, we have a tradition of caring Americans who want to give in order to help people who are innocent and fleeing the worst uh, excesses of bad governance and civil wars and conflict. And so we need those people to speak up, to inform themselves, uh, to put pressure on the government. But we need more. We need students involved. We need university presidents. We need veterans involved. We need the private sector to step forward because of the scale of what we're confronting right now.